E-commerce websites are a great source of product information. This includes product details, pricing, and data on deals and sales. You could use this data to inform your purchasing process, for market research, or competitor research. Whatever your goal is, here's how to scrape data from any e-commerce site with a free web scraper. You will then be able to download the data as an Excel sheet. For this example, we will use Parsehub, a free and powerful web scraper that can scrape any website. Make sure to download and install Parsehub for free through the link in the description or at parsehub.com. For this example, we will scrape data from Etsy, more specifically, data from Etsy's search results page for aluminum. Now, let's get scraping. First, open Parsehub and click on New Project. Then, enter the URL you will be scraping. The page will render inside the app. Once the page is rendered, make your first selection by clicking on the name of the first product on the page. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. The rest of the product names on the page will now be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second product name in the list to select them all. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to Product. Parsehub is now extracting each product's name and URL. Now it's time to extract more data. Use the plus sign next to the product selection and choose the relative select command. Using this command, click on the name of the first product on the page and then on the seller name. An arrow will appear to indicate the connection you're creating. Rename the selection to seller. Now repeat the previous steps to add additional data, such as the product's price, rating, and number of reviews. Your project should now look like this. Feel free to pause the video to have a closer look. You might want to extract additional data from each product's details page. We will now set up Parsehub to also click on each product and extract additional data. Click on the plus sign next to your product selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page link. Click on no, choose create new template, name it product page, and click on the Create New Template button. A new browser tab will open inside of Parsub, and the first product page in the list will be rendered. A select command will be created automatically. You can now click on any element on the page that you would like to extract. In this case, we will extract the seller name and seller URL. Rename your selection accordingly. Using the plus sign next to your page selection, you can add additional select commands to extract additional data. Now, we will set up Parsehub to navigate to further pages of search results and extract more data. First, use the browser and template tabs to return to the main template and the search results page. Use the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Using this command, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on the next page link. Rename your selection to pagination. Click on the icon next to your pagination selection to expand it. Delete both extract commands underneath the selection. Use the plus sign next to your pagination selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on yes and input the number of times you'd like to repeat this process. In this case, we will repeat it five times. It's now time to run your scrape and extract your data as an Excel sheet. To do this, click on the green Get Data button in the left sidebar. Here you will be able to run, test, or schedule your web scraping project. In this case, we will run it right away. Once the scrape is complete, you will be able to download it as a CSV or JSON file. You now know how to scrape data from any e-commerce website. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsehub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.